Okay then guys, welcome back to this series with Arsenal. Um, we are starting this game off today with a fixture against Port Vale away. It's a risky business. It's a team that I still think can win though. Um, we've changed this around completely today. Um, even the keeper, Keown, is staying in though because I'm, I'm just aware that Adams could be fit in a few days. So I'm going to keep Keown in that position at the moment. Um, and I'm not going to put much on my bench either. I'm going to really risk this because Henri is 92. I don't want to have the option of bringing him on at any point. Um, I know that it's not a necessity to win this cup, but I do like it. you know. And I say that as we, <laughs> as we can see the goal. But I'm kind of hoping that we can sort of muster something out here. I think the last thing that we want here is extra time. Like It, it, it tends to happen occasionally when we don't want it to happen. You know, When you've, you've got a game in two days' time and you've played a good team... And then all of a sudden, they've got to play 120 minutes. It's the worst possible solution that could happen. So I don't want the option of having Henri on the bench in case that does take place. Uh, so that's why I've put in Cano on the bench, put Perez, uh, Vieira. Because uh, I think they should make it for their next game against Liverpool. Whereas Henri is just vital, in, just vitally important. Stephen McPhee, an absolute legend on this game. Let's have a little scout. I'm not saying I'm going to buy him, don't worry. I'm just going to scout him. Franny Jeffers. You see, I thought this was a brilliant opportunity for Jeffers today. I thought we'd give him a great opportunity to show us what he can do, but he doesn't seem to be taking that at the moment, um, which is quite disappointing. I also brought Edu up as well. I'm going to put Perez on instead of um, Parler. Um, and I'm going to bring Canu on instead of Jeffers. Let's just see if that, that does anything for the for the team. If we get beat, we get beat. I'm not bothered. It's something, something that, like I said, isn't a necessity, but some something I'd like to do. You do always want to win trophies, don't you? Main priority is that Liverpool game coming up. We're going to get an equaliser. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, so it's a shock. Yeah, it is a shock. But when you look at the team that we played, it ain't a shock. Okay. Under the month. Let's keep going. I'm kind of hoping to get a few players in as well at some point. Um, they're pleased. There we go. Get rid of him. Lovely jubbly. Right. Really important this game now. Right. Campbell. Oh no, he's not back. That's a that's a disaster. Hopefully, Keo. Oh, 92. Nightmare. Nightmare. I might have to think about bringing someone else in that position. Possibly. I'm going to put Upson in. I think. Oh no, he's lacking match practice as well. Rookie mistake that I've made there. Van Bronckhorst, one day. Oof. Parler. Jungberg. Yep, that's right. Attacking mid. Perez. Henri Bergkamp. Yep. Okay. Oops, some bench. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring Edu, you know. Will Tord. I don't mind Will Tord either, to be honest with you. Right, come on. I'm, I'm kind of praying now because I'm going to look very silly if I've if I've sort of rested a squad, knocked myself out of a trophy, and then end up getting beat. Oh, fuck! They've been, but one of them has gone as well. I think it's Gerard. I'm going to take Bergkamp off here. Yeah, Gerard has gone as well. Um, so it's not as bad as I thought. Get in. Oh, I won't stand. What? Um, oh, see, I don't know who's... I don't know who's had the worst look there. I think Ashley Cole is really important for us on that left-hand side. But then obviously you could argue that Gerard is a class player in that midfield. Oh, this is a nightmare. Um, and we've got that massive game against Ajax as well, which is a must-win. We're kind of in lumber here. Come on. Come on, Arsenal. On replay and a six as well. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. It is the worst possible thing that could have happened. 
Oh, United got beat. Oh, that's a mare. That's a disaster. Oh, right, come on. Let's get Klomp in. I'm not messing around anymore. We need this guy in as soon as we possibly can. I think a few players will be fit for this game, though. Van Bronckhorst should be back. Tony Adams should be back. There you go. Tony's back. Um, yeah, Van Bronckhorst is back. Brilliant. Two important players to this team, which means that we can now... Um, we can now shove Vieira back in the centre of midfield. Oh, no, he's suspended. Bloody hell. Youngberg's knackered. Right. I do parlour. Bloody hell, Perez is knackered. I can't afford to not play Perez, though. I'm going to have to play him. We need to win this game. Oh my god. So they need... Yes, they need to get beat. So we need Barca to win. So I've just realised then that actually, even with what we're talking about now, it's it's still... It's good enough at this point. But if they equalise, we're screwed. Oh, get in. Actually, I think, I think that, that may be enough. 2-0 now to Barca. Yes, that's enough. Oh, there we go. Job done. Job done. Not not I wasn't worried. Um Okay. Right, so that means now that this is this is our full team, our full proper squad is back now. Ready for this Leicester game on the 19th, which is a really good opportunity for us to start building momentum in the league. Um, oh, that's not a bad group. That's actually not a bad group at all. Um, Schalke at home first. So we go 6th, 18th. Uh, that, that's not too bad. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. I'm kind of positive about this group. I think if we win those home games, I think I think we'll see progress taking place there. So I'm happy with that. Right, guys, I'm going to leave the video there at this point. Um, please join us back for the Leicester game next. And then we start the new phase of the Champions League group stage. Uh, yeah, see you later.